Hello my friend, welcome to my channel. Today I've got Cadillac Lacquer. I only miss her when I'm breathing. I'm going to stamp on it. I've started with American Classic starting over as my base coat. And here is Cadillac. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I love the flakies. I only miss her when I'm breathing. So I've already gotten started. My camera was acting up. I'm sorry, but I already got started on this first coat. And this is the first coat still. That's crazy. There we go, some, some nice fuzzy blurry pictures, sorry. <laughs> Alrighty, so that is the first coat. And now I'm gonna go in with our second coat of I Only Miss Her When I'm Breathing. This is just such a cool polish. I love the light background of the color and how those flakies just pop. This one is so pretty. Very, very nice. Beautiful formula. Hi Woody, how you doing? Look at that. Oh, it's just so pretty. I'm gonna top it with some Fast and Hard from Vibrant Vinyls. Now that I'm finally learning how to say it, I'm about out, so <laughs> we'll see. We'll see if I repurchase. I do love it. It's possible. But I wanted to seal this one in. Gonna cap my free edge. There we go. Lovely. It's just a lovely polish. Oof. There's my swatch photo of it all on its own. Today I'll be using the Trend Hunter Collection 02 plate from MoU London. This clean color in metallic red. It's not a stamping polish, but it does stamp. And this is a stamping polish by Nicole Diary called Calling of Mermaid. My Bundle Monster Monocle Stamper and my Clear Jelly Scraper. And I'm going to use this like sunflower looking image with the checkerboard image behind it. It goes from gold to orange to bronze to, oh I love it, I love it. And I'm going to fill it in with um, the one that wasn't a stamping polish losing my mind but I'm gonna fill it in with the clean color metallic red I originally was gonna stamp with it but it wasn't working out so well so I just I just decided to use it this way instead you know sometimes you gotta change speeds when you're doing a manicure if it starts going wrong I mean you can fight it and keep going with it or you can just change gears and try something else and that's what I did here. Really, really loving these plates though. These are some of the ones that Miss Becky sent me. Flipping it over, checking it out. I see a couple of spots that could use just a little more polish up in them. Just kind of tapping it in. And I am just using a um, generic it's not even a thin nail art brush just just a little generic brush and there we go I'm gonna let that one dry and while it is I'm gonna use the clean color metallic green and the bundle monster 08 this is really super old here I don't even think they have that anymore but I am gonna stamp just the leaf part of this image in the metallic green first on my other nails that aren't my accent nail and you really can't see, you know, this image really good, but this is just some of that layering, you know, layering stamping. But you will see this dark green from Bundle Monster. Here we go. Look at that. Oh. So I'm doing this same image and stamping technique on all the other nails except my ring finger today. And um, while I've got just a moment, I want to mention that many times I am going to call things Bundle Monster. And if they have Bundle Monster on the packaging, I will call it Bundle Monster. Um, if it says Maniology, then I will call it Maniology. It's um, a little confusing for us, so um, I just wanted to throw that out there. I don't want y'all thinking I don't know. I do, I do know that they've changed their branding and their, you know, you know, their name. But a lot of my stuff 
is old, so it's labeled Bundle Monster. Some of it might not even be available anymore, so, you know, there's that. Look at that. So I got my greenage all on. I'm going to go in and do a little bit of cleanup while I'm letting that decal dry a little bit more. That came up really well with the tape. I'll be using the Pro FX Sticky Base to get this decal to transfer from my stamper to my nail and stick really well. I'm doing a pretty thin coat of this Sticky Base. And I'm tapping that to make sure it's dry because I am one to uh, mess up a mani by rushing it. So I wanted to make sure it was dry. And there we go. Mush that rascal on there. All right. And I've got a couple of places where it didn't stick so good or it just didn't have anything there. So I'm going to use up what's left on the stamper and just fill in a couple of these spots. It's not going to be perfect, but that's okay. There won't be any bald spots. There we go. Stuck down pretty good. So I'm going to go in with this little cuticle tool and just kind of pinch off the excess that's overhanging. There's not a whole lot of it. And then I'm going to go in with some acetone and a cleanup brush and melt part of this and clean up part of this. Acetone is just amazing for this. You can use regular nail polish remover also. I'm going to go up under there, kind of tap, tap, tap it, especially on that sidewall. I don't want that being ragged and sticking out and getting caught on stuff. Just tap, tap, tap. There we go. Look at that. Ta-da! So loving it. I'm going to be using the Born Pretty Smudge Free Top Coat. I don't know if any of these are smudgers, so I decided I've got it. Just go on and use it. I'm going to apply this first and let it dry down before I apply my last top coat, my for real top coat. I just love it. There we go. Getting her all done. All right. So I'm going to top it with some posh top coat and seal everything in, get it to dry down pretty quick. Um, I do love that about Posh. It's like Sesh Feet. It does dry fairly quickly. And capping that free edge. There we go. So, we're going to do this last one. And it'll be done. Another manicure in the books. But I would love to hear what you think about my manicure. Leave me a comment down below because I always enjoy chatting with you about polish and manicures. Love to hear what you're wearing, what you're sporting today. So leave me a comment down below. So there it is. I do have a swatch photo. Here it is. But I hope you enjoyed this one. I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.